so my sun is going down guys and it's a little dark but what I want to show is that I kind of want to drape it somehow and have it really full through here so I may have to get some floral foam and kind of stack the pumpkins to give it some height and depthness and then I want to of course take those flowers off and then I want to add some other garland and intertwine it and then also add some other flowers that I have more of this color scheme so let's see how that looks okay guys so I have taken out some of the flowers that were in here and they were the sunflowers and the purple flowers and I just hot glued those in you can also use like floral foam like if you floral wire if you have like a stem or something like that and what I did was I alter alternated them here are the flowers that I had on that garland I just alternated the flowers I have one sunflower and then one of the purple like daisies and now I'm going to use I'm going to use like some of this floral stems and garland that I have that I'm not using right now and I'm going to intertwine those with the garland here and then I'm going to use some of that Dollar Tree let's see I'll show you guys I've used some of this already but this has some of the browns and some of the yellow that I want to use okay so I have two strands of this garland here I'm not sure what it's called from the Target one spot and I believe this came from Michaels so what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around loosely not tightly and once you wrap it around and kind of form it the way you want you want to open up your leaves on your garland because that gives it a more natural look and you don't want all your leaves to be balled up like you just got it from the store and they balled it up in the bag so you definitely want to open them up take the time to fluff them out the best way you can I know if it's like Dollar Tree or something like that you may not get them totally flat um, if they were shipped like that or something but you should be able to so we're going to clean this up down here at the bottom and then see if we can hang it on our basket. Okay guys, so really the centerpiece, the arrangement there is probably enough if you want to be simplistic and then put bless there. But because I have something over here and over here, I put the lantern over here and then I added these little beads through here I just wrapped it around it's dark sorry about that and that mimics off of the berries here that I think I got these from Dollar Tree so that plays off of that um, I have some hints of white through here and of course the yellow but I put some of these flowers from Dollar Tree and I just placed them in here. But when you get down and one there, one here, but when you get here, you don't kind of want it just sticking out. So you can wrap it around it or you can actually feed it through the grapevine or the twigs there. Or you can take some floral wire and wrap it around that way I probably put another one right down here and I'm gonna go get my blocks to give it some height and some more fullness for the pumpkins but I see I need to probably buy um, two or three larger pumpkins when the sale of fall or you know when it switches over to Christmas when I catch some on clearance so I think I'll do that this year doesn't matter what color because I can always repaint them and then I think I'm going to add some ribbon over here see what I have upstairs to kind of fill it out but also over here I feel like it needs a, just a tad bit more green um, because it has all of this green up here Put a lantern over here to balance out over here I may also add another just pumpkin to the side I put this bless sign I picked this up from big lots um, the lanterns from Michaels 
and then this urn was actually another color it was a darker brown and I used some chalk paint the ivory color let's see let's zoom in and I purchased this from Walmart and I just wanted when I went over to change my living room to like farmhouse I wanted it more rustic and I didn't I loved it and I didn't want to get rid of it a lot of times I leave this on the floor so you can use your pieces different types of ways that it's versatile you can prop it up on like how I have it on the mantle here or you can leave it on the floor so this year I added some more flowers um, up here some more fall flowers I took some of the spring ones out and most of these I believe are from Dollar Tree um, other than the greenery the twigs are from Aldi so you can mix and match you can go to Hobby Lobby Michaels catch their sales um, but all of the yellows and the wheat and so forth the daisies those are from Dollar Tree I have a basket full of pumpkins and to give it some height and depth let's take some of these out to show you guys what I did was I used like some floral foam here and I just added some pumpkins to the side so it looked like they were just tousled in the basket let's see So some foil foam back there and I just turned them sideways like that to make it look like they're tousled in the basket. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add like leaves in between here and also some greenery to make it look realistic like it's a bunch of pumpkins in a basket. And then what I used was some greenery here and different types of greenery and intertwine them and then I also use some of these little beads I added some greenery in because I wanted more greenery in the sway here is the look of the mantle when it's all done and completed so I felt like I first started with my floor arrangement here and I put it on the mantle. I wanted to use this bless sign here. It brings out the gold. There's gold in the berries there. I have the rustic theme here and also the different picks of flowers which are from the Dollar Tree. And then I have the twigs also like giving it that rustic feel. So to show a little closer up image, the greenery is like my base. So I keep this in here all the time. So you want to get some good quality greenery that you can purchase from Hobby Lobby, from Michaels, um, maybe online if it's a trusted floral company online. Um, let's see any craft store Joann's that sells I know we have a Carolina pottery I think they have old-time pottery just any place that has really good quality greenery because that's gonna last you years and years so this is like a different type of greenery here I like I adjusted it and fixed it so we can kind of cascade down I have the fern here and then I have this spiky stuff and this has been through some things <laughs> moving and stuff it's a little bit it used to be straight up which was really really pretty so um, those are the three granaries that are in here and then I just keep them in the vase at all times then I went in with these picks from the Dollar Tree I had two of these and my living room right now is like the cream ivory with gray and hints of gold and like this warm yellow so I wanted to use these this year that I got from Dollar Tree I think about three years ago I think every now and then they bring it back and then I took some of these 
wheat greenery and I stuck it down in here let's pull it out to show you guys I stuck it down in here So I can show y'all and I had used three of these so I put one down the middle for symmetry one down the middle here one over here on this side and then one on this side so I'm gonna stick this one back down in here and then you may want to separate it um, I like to separate mine and intertwine it with the other floral so it can look more natural and then I also have these little, I don't remember what these call guys. Um, this also came from Dollar Tree. It is good idea to shop the Dollar Tree or the Target One Spot early so you can get your good pick on like the decorations, especially the flowers since we're talking about that. Because now probably what all they have left is like the bright oranges, but there's nothing wrong with that if that's your thing. That's what you like. So what I did was I put one, I thought I had one on both sides, but let's see, I don't. I think this is supposed to be more so in the middle and somehow it got moved. But you see what I'm saying, like how it's one, since I have two of these, one is here, one is over here, and one is supposed to be more so over here. But I probably moved it when I put these daisies in. So these like um, fall light daisies, this is I think only like two, one bush. And I put it down in here and you just don't want to leave it as a whole. You want to separate them. Use your fingers and just kind of maneuver and separate them to where they're spread apart where it's intertwined between the greenery so it look more natural so over here when I took that out it got a little messed up so you see how that is a hole right there it's all bunched together and you just want to separate it and intertwine it in between you want to shape it Maneuver it and just shape it. You can just form it gently. And I love for like flowers and stuff to cascade. These here, I actually bought these, not from Dollar Tree. I thought I did. These little holly things, I believe, came from Michael's. And that actually just came off. Don't be afraid to place them back on the stem here. Let's see. Just place that back on there. Or you can use hot glue if you want, if it just will not stay. But I just placed a little bit of sprig here, there to spread out. And that mimics some of the gold that I have like throughout the decor in the living room. And that's it, y'all. And again, y'all, it doesn't have to stay on top of the mantle. You can put it on the floor. That's normally where I have it. And you see when you play around with it, it gives it a total different look every single time. I felt like it needed some type of symmetry, even though it's not perfectly symmetrical. So I wanted something on both sides of it so I put this lantern here and then I added some pumpkins to kind of feel like they are cascading or laid up there and then um, over here I end up using this swag and intertwining different layers of greenery and leaves and adding some flowers when I felt like it needed more green I added like some sprigs that I had laying around um, throughout the swag and then also I end up using some ivory flowers 
because I felt like it needed more of that color. So when I'm standing back and I'm thinking and I'm decorating, I kind of see is there a balance of color on both sides and is there a balance of color throughout the entire decor arrangement. What you don't want is you don't want to have too much of one color and one area unless you're going for that look. Like you want to have an even balance of the cream, the oranges, the green, and the gold. So that's what I was trying to achieve here. All the way throughout. All of these items are items that I had this year. I didn't go out and purchase anything new. Let me double check. <laughs> anything new um, this year for this particular um, decor for the mantle. And I think it came out really well. You can make up your own something, maybe something similar. If you have a lantern, if you have a tray, you don't have to necessarily have a basket. You can have a crate or something like that and come up with this own style in your own home. Um, you can use maybe not such of a tall arrangement. You can use maybe a shorter urn. And then here, um, I just started first with the centerpiece of this floor arrangement because I first started with the floor arrangement first because I knew that this corner needed something and I didn't want to necessarily go out and get anything so I have my pictures over here my window is right here and I needed something to kind of make a statement in this corner so I started with that and then I knew I had to kind of ease it on down by putting decor on both sides Okay guys, so this is the finish. Okay guys. Okay y'all, so this is the finish look of the mantle and I like how it came out. I first started with the center here and then I worked outward and you kind of want it, it's not perfectly symmetrical, but you want something on each side to make it symmetrical. I love this accent color. Let's see if I can show them. on this tripod, y'all. Of this pillow this year, and I just wanted to use that color. My inspiration was the pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. I love the like navy color this year, but I went with this teal color. Also, the emerald green. I just love those deep rich colors this year so that was my inspiration and then I ordered some pillows off of Amazon pillow inserts and I just love the buffalo check um, for Christmas for even Halloween but I'm not doing I don't do Halloween so I wanted to incorporate that somehow and it came out really well on my mantle I do a tour y'all trying to finish up cuz I don't as I'm doing this this may be the most that I'm doing, but I was like, hope you got different stuff here and there. But it's just like, I don't know, y'all, because I'm getting ready to paint my dining room. And um, I just don't know what to do with the rest of my fall stuff. And I'm like, oh, most of it that I haven't put out goes into my dining room. And so, anyway, I'm getting ready to go get some paint today for that. But I love how it came out. The arrangement, I took a lot of the white stem well not a lot i just took the stems out i put some more fall colors in there and then over here i use this lantern i thought about putting a buffalo chick bow on there since i've been doing it in the living room but i did this one first and this is all dollar tree ribbon and i just i just love lanterns and then i put some pumpkins over here and i put a i didn't put an odd number but <laughs> Usually you want to decorate with odd numbers like three, um, five, like that. You don't want to do even numbers, but since I have the lantern here, it's all right. So it's like five. Then I put some 
Dollar Tree Garland and I didn't want the bright orange so I got this last year I wanted to use more of the muted brown with the light beige or tan color I love this bless sign absolutely love it you can got it at big lots around this time last year maybe a little bit earlier um, with the harvest collection but you can use it any time of the year I got the basket for spring I believe guys and I actually was going to use it for a tablescape and I may because I may not do a whole lot I may just move this for the table um, this year I don't know and I kind of wanted the pumpkins to kind of be nestled in there just tousled in there but they're really more so nestled and then I started with the I think I have some footage to explain how I did this I should have recorded it as I did it my mom she gets on me about oh you need to record when you're actually doing it um, to show if someone else wants to do something similar or so you guys know exactly what I did so this is like some garland that I had I took out some flowers that I hot glued in there or pumpkins for a tablescape then I use some of these berries. I wrap those around. So this is like two or three different garlands wrapped around. Then I use some of these eucalyptus um, leaves. And that's probably about to come out. And I kind of stuck it in there um, that I have for a centerpiece that I think I purchased from Michaels. I don't remember. And then I tied like some buffalo check ribbon on there because I kind of wanted pops of that and I just wanted it to go down one side of the fireplace um, if you follow me on Instagram or anything Sai and I we painted one of these pumpkins so I do have a child that loves to do arts and crafts and bills finally and I just put some pumpkins in there that kind of correlate with the colors I didn't want to have a balance of too much of one color on the other side that's why I was thinking maybe I should put a buffalo check ribbon over here but I have that little teal color pumpkin there and then since I had something coming down on this side I had to put something down here below so I have a crate here let's see if I can zoom in I have a crate down here and I just turned it over and then I have my topiary from last year that I had on my fireplace. Another little pumpkin. I think I got that one from Dollar General. I can't remember, guys. And then that's just a foam pumpkin from Dollar Tree that I painted last year. That sage green color with chalk paint. My little Big Lot sign. And then I think this came from the Target One spot. This little wood pumpkin. So I wanted to kind of balance it out on both sides since I had something over here put something over here on the floor so guys that is all for my mantle I enjoyed how or like how it came out I really do and it feels like I do need something buffalo check over here but it'll be alright I wasn't ready to paint one of my stacking topiary <laughs> pumpkins um, the teal color maybe next year I don't know but I'll probably be over that color next year but um, I did think about that and I was like I don't feel like doing that right now but thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the very very next video and happy fall <laughs>